Good evening and welcome to my channel, Shanna Makes It. Today I'm going to be working with Spellbinder's um, Clear Stamp and Die of the Month um, for March 2023. It is called Butterfly Burst. Um, you get to see a lot of butterflies on my channel because I work with Butterfly Sparkle as well. Um, and then the die is Butterfly Burst and you've got the dies that go with it. And then in addition to this club kit, I also get the... Um, embossing folder of the month and it is the stylized calla lily and i've taken it out and laid it aside i need to grab it here real quick and it is this embossing folder here so you can see it's really pretty um, so i'm going to be working with that today and i'm going to make a card and i just thought i would have you follow along with me as i make it and it should be a lot of fun i'm going to do something a little different i've seen a lot of people on YouTube using this particular um, kit. I'm actually going to use um, black for mine. Um, so that should be interesting. Hopefully it'll be make kind of an elegant card. But um, there's You Are So Kind, just a little high from me. The best is yet to come. Have the best birthday. And then we have two butterflies that are, the flower pattern on them are slightly different, but they are the same size and they do cut from the same dye. And then this is like a cinnamon wreath. It's like a wreath that you can set these sentiments on the inside, and we've, we've also got the cutout for that. And we have the dies for um, the four sentiments as well. So that's awesome. It's lovely to have all of those. So that's fun. So anyway, I'll just um, set this stuff aside and get my materials ready, and then you can just follow along. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually bring out my Misty, and I'm going to use some hammer mill 110 pound cardstock and lay it down on my um, sticky mat from scrapbook.com and I think I'm just going to stamp um, out one of my butterflies and I'm going to just lay it on here and stamp it out and let's see I've kind of got that in the center and I am going to also stand, stamp out a cinnamon. I'm going to do this, you are so kind. And this will be like a thank you card. So I'm going to lay that down as well. And I'll stamp it out of um, this. And I'm going to just use my black Memento Tuxedo Black ink is what I'm going to use. Um, because I think I'm going to color in my butterfly instead of using the dyes that just basically color in the, or the, I mean the stamps that actually color in the center of the flowers. It's just one color, and I think I'm going to add a little bit more dimension to it than that. So I'm going to use my black um, Memento ink, which is alcohol um, safe, so I can use my alcohol markers on it. So I'm just going to get this stamped up real well. get plenty of ink on there. Make sure I'm clear over in my corner where I need to be so that if I need to restamp, I can. I've got a new um, stamping tool that my stepdad made for me, um, just out of a block of wood. It's a real pretty wood. And then just a piece of felt on the bottom and a little handle. So um, that makes it nice for stamping. So that is a new addition to my craft room. So I'm happy to have that. And then I'm going to um, just look, put some more ink on it and stamp a second time so I can get a real good press. Or maybe, and maybe even a third time if I need to. So it's probably about time to uh, get a new Memento ink pad or, or um, refill for it. Not sure how it comes. Okay, so I'm going to lay that back down and just press. We had a lovely day today. It was a little bit warmer than what it has been, thank heavens. And it was very, very sunny, so I'm very thankful for that because we've just had some lousy weather. Okay, I'm real happy with how that, um, how that inked, how that stamped. So I'll just roll my thing here, not bend it, and so I'm good to go. So I'll be able to color in those flowers in some different colors and 
that'll be really pretty. So that's what I plan to do. So I'm going to lay my Misty aside. I'm actually going to use some black um, paper and um, do something a little bit different. I have got this black paper from Spellbinders. It is the um, brushed black cardstock. And it's got, you can see the sheen to it when I kind of tilt it. It's got like a sheen to it. And I'm planning to use it and then um, have my um, butterfly. I'm going to die cut through this and then my butterfly will show underneath it. And I'm also going to run it through the embossing folder. So what I need to do now is I need to get my butterfly die out. And I need to figure out where I want it on here and get it situated to where it's fairly straight and fairly even. So that's about where I want it. And then I'm going to just use some of my low tack tape, which, sorry, reaching across here to grab my tape. And I'm just going to tape it in place. And I will take it over to my die cut machine and cut it out. And then I'll be back and we'll have uh, the beginning of a card panel. Okay, so while I was over there at my die cutting station, I went ahead and embossed this panel as well. So I just basically cut the, the butterfly out of the center and save it. I'm certainly going to use that. And then I embossed the panel um, with the panel uh, of the month, which is the style, stylized calla lily is what it's called. And then my thought is that I will um, arrange this to where you know, once I get it colored and everything, I'll arrange it to where it just shows out of that. And I will also need to die cut out uh, my you, you Are So Kind. So I need to figure out which, let's see. I think it's this one right here. I just need to use that. So I'll need to take this over. What I'll do is I'm just going to cut this off so that I'll have it for my panel. And then I'm going to just line up my die for this and I will go over to my die cutting station and I will die cut that cinnamon out so that I have it ready to go. So I'll just get that lined up real nice and neat. Put some tape on there to keep it and then I'll, I'll cut Okay, it so I've got um, the elements of my card here. I've got this embossed and ready to go. It looks really pretty. And I've got this, and I've got my cinnamon die cut out. And then I've picked out, for my tri-blend markers, I've picked out uh, a pale pink blend and a hydrangea blend that I think I'll use to color the flowers on here. So I'm going to zoom in, um, since I'm going to do my coloring, and I'll just start on that, and we'll see where it goes. So I've got that, and then it'll go on here like that. And then we'll lay it down on our card panel. 
and I've cut this to where we'll have an eighth of an inch all the way around our card panel is how I did that. And then we would have our You Are Kind Sentiment So on there. Very, very simple card with minimal coloring. Okay, so let me get my card panel. Okay, and I've just got a, a card panel here. This is just gonna be a, a, um, obviously a side folding and I just need to get my score buddy. Just need to get it. Lay it down. I can zoom out a little bit now. Get to see my messy desk there. And we're just going to score this at four and a quarter. So I'll get it lined up. Let's see which way on the paper. Yeah, that's how I want it. I was going to try, I'll show you. I was thinking about trying a new technique on this embossed panel. Um, where you take your white ink pad and you just go over the raised areas and it adds some uh, color to it. So I tried it on this um, butterfly that was cut out of this and um, I went ahead and embossed the butterfly so I'd have the same technique and then I ran the white over it and I I really didn't like it. It kind of made it look really like more like a gray cardstock than, than this shiny black. So I decided against that, um, but I can still use this for something else later, but I'm not gonna do that to this card because I just didn't, I wasn't real excited about it. I thought that I had got this cut down, but apparently I did not. So I need to go and, and trim it down a little bit with my paper trimmer. So I'm just gonna lay this aside. I thought I had trimmed it down, I don't know. So let me see what I've got here. It looks like it is at four and a quarter. So maybe I maybe I grabbed a, a different panel. So I'm gonna take it down to I'm gonna take it down there. And this side hopefully will cut all right since it is embossed. And then I'm going to Do the same on this side. Maybe I got a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. And then what have I got here? It's pretty close to five and a half. So I'll take that off that. And then that off that. And then that'll give us a, an edge, an exposed edge when we lay it down. Just gotta get that lined up. And that's what that'll look like. Okay, so we're gonna want to, and I'm trying to decide if, if I want, I think I want this to kind of have some, yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to take, um, I'm gonna use this, um, foam tape that I got from uh, scrapbook.com. It's just a real narrow foam tape. So I'm going to take it and lay it down so that I'll have some dimension. And I'm going to put some here. No, I'm not. I'm going to wait on that. And I'll take another piece and get a hold of it. Maybe. I'm going to pull off. Okay, and I'll do this side. And this is just real narrow, I love this. I'm gonna have to order some. This was, I got one sheet in a bundle of stuff that I had ordered. And so now I'm gonna have to get some of this because I do like it. I thought that might almost fit, but not quite. Okay, and then I'm gonna need a little bit for the top of that. I'm just gonna lay it down. I'm just kind of guesstimate there a little bit. Lay that down. Oops, 
crazy there. Okay, I think that'll be all right. And then I'm also thinking on this, whoops, I messed that up, that I'm going to put some on here and that'll give me some dimension between my black panel and my butterfly panel. So I'm gonna do that and we'll see how this turns out. Hopefully it'll turn out all right. I think it will. And I'll just split this in half. I'm done with that. So I'm just gonna lay it like that. And that way there'll be kind of a gap between my black, black panel and this. So we'll see if it turns out. Okay, so I'm gonna get, let's see, I'm trying to find my little tool that I need to use. Where it is, I'll just try to pick it off. Um, get some tweezers here. See if I can just pick that. I have a hard time getting a hold of that tape. Oh, that's gonna fall off real lazy since it's so thin. Okay. That already came off. Okay. Got it all? Yes. Okay. Now what I want to do now is I need to line this up. So I'm gonna try and Try and very carefully line this up, how it needs to go on there. Okay, and you can see, so I've got a little bit of, you know, there's a little dimension there just in the, with those, with that foam tape there. So, and then I've got this and I'll lay it on the white. I just, it's, it's gonna be fairly simple, just the black and the white. Um, I, I wish I had some silver. I'll have to look and see if I have any silver embellishments of any kind that I could add to it. That would be fun as well. I think... Okay. I think my phone is acting up, so I'm not sure what happened there. But Okay. So I'm going to try and get this laid down with a nice edge around it. And we've got our card base built. And then we have our sentiment. And I think I'll use some more of that foam strip to set that up a little bit too. So we'll just turn it over and grab a little bit of that and see if I can pump up that sentiment as well. So we'll just lay that down. And it says, you are so kind. I really like the texture. I don't think you can see on camera the the texture and the kind of the glistening of that black paper. It really glistens. It's got some kind of a, it's called brushed, but it's got some kind of a glimmer to it. The paper does, and it looks really pretty. So I like that. And then you are so kind. I'm just going to try and get that lined up. And that makes for a really simple card. I think it's really pretty and elegant, um, but very simple, easy to assemble. Um, something that you could crank out fairly easy. So I hope you like it. If you like it, consider subscribing to my channel or giving me a thumbs up. Um, I appreciate it. I mentioned on my last um, community post that I just hit 500 subscribers. So I was really excited about that. I'm on my way. Um, so I'm just looking forward to each and every one of you joining my channel, and I, I thank you for that. So have a nice evening, and I hope you like my card. Take care. Bye now.